Hey guys, Orlando here. Um, got a little something special today. This is going to be a several part video because this is so big. Thanks to the generosity of a member who wishes to remain anonymous, but he knows who he is and he knows how much I appreciate this. I was able to get a hold of another one of my Holy Grail items. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, when I opened the box, I was happier than an eight-tailed puppy. It just... It blew me away. It came at a great time when I was having some issues. Just the generosity and everything of this person just, I mean, it floored me. There's no other way to put it. I was speechless. And for me, y'all know that's pretty wild. So, um, I want y'all to see this one. We're going to do this unboxing right here, so to speak. And then I'm going to do the reviews separately, but we're going to do them a little bit different because, uh, this needs to be done in some special places, some special locations. So, uh, but no, no more gilding the lily. Let me show you what I got. Why yes, an Australian CR1ME or CR1M. This is honestly going to be the furthest food I have ever eaten from where I live and I'm gonna tell you this I am excited about so uh, I've been waiting to do this for a while let's get started all right I want to preserve this bag and these wrappings just because, so y'all bear with me. All right, first thing we got. All the combat ration information. I'm going to take pictures of this whole thing, post them on MRE Info, so I'll throw the link down in the bottom. And I'll also put them up on my Facebook page so y'all can take a look and see what all is in all the Australian meals. And can read the whole thing, but I will get pictures of every page of that and get them posted. Oh, this is the one I've heard good stuff about. They have a brew kit. Let me adjust this just a hair. We're going to come back to that. I've always thought this was cool about what they do. It's their matchbox. You've got both kinds of matches, regular and the storm. It's in a waterproof container, and it has a striker on the side. That is ingenious, and the fact that it comes in every meal is totally awesome. So we're going to set this right here. Next. Usually with natural skim milk powder. Okay, so first thing. Pack 615.13, or 65, whoa, cool. We are exactly, almost exactly at the three-year mark. So hopefully I won't have any issues with this, hopefully. Hopefully there won't be any issues with this, and everything will be good to go. I know sometimes with the dried milk, it'll cause issues, so. There we go. Next. Nope, our bags. We're just going to set that there. Alrighty. Beef and black beans. Here, let's see if you can't get a good read on that. Alrighty. So that, of course, is one of the entrees. Noodles, beef. In other words, ramen noodles, as we call them here in the States. <laughs> we all know those. They're pretty very pretty uh, popular, especially with the college kids. Mm, cereal bar, apricot. There we go. Get you a good view of that. There we go. These I have been curious about for a while. 
So uh, y'all go ahead and sound off what flavor is musk. That one has me a little curious. I'm anxious to try those. The infamous ADF chocolate ration. I've heard those things are awesome. Now, I'm going to tell you, you're probably not going to see this in any of the reviews, because, I mean, it's the exact same Jack Link's beef snack you can find in any convenience store. Although, I do find it interesting. It's a product of New Zealand, but it is halal. So, that's probably just going to be my snack one day. We'll put it out here anyway, just to be safe. Alrighty. Two things I love. Number one. Sweetened condensed milk. I love this stuff in coffee now. And it's all because I saw Kiwi Dude put it in his coffee when he tried one of these. I said, hey, that sounds interesting. I got to try it. So I did. I got hooked. Marmalade. Well, if it's marmalade, we know it's got to be orange flavored. So that's going to be kind of good. Put that right there. Next, we have candy chocolates. Chocolate spread. Hmm. Processed cheddar cheese. That is a really cute small can. That is cute. Cool. There's another can in here too. Let's see what it is. Diced peaches and syrup. Oh, sorry. In case you want to read the nutritional information. There you go. I'm surprised. All right. Country cup. Butternut pumpkin and ham. Wait, which is this? Okay. Pea and ham. Sorry, there's two different ones up here. But I had to look down here to see pea and ham. So. Alright. There's the soup. Well, you know what? We're running out of room, so. Y'all give me just a second here. Okay, so. Yeah, apparently these rations are so big, you got to do them in multiple shots. So I had to clear everything out and then come back with round two. All right. Now, this is cool. Chunky chicken and vegetables. There's the nutrition information. But here's something I noticed on this one. Meals ready to eat. <laughs> Just curious. Yep. The beef will back bleeds had it too, so well you know. Alright. Chunky chicken and veggies. Instant mashed potatoes. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Ooh. Chocolate drink. There we go. Paper kit. <sighs> nice napkins. Almost like a nice soft roll. And another country cup. Another pea and ham. Hang on. All right, folks. Well, either this stuff is moving on me, or 
I accidentally put this back in because I can't find the other one. So apparently there is only one of these and I'm just losing my mind today. We've already seen that. Let's toss it over there. That's right, because the last thing I had I was trying to... Okay, never mind. Y'all pardon my brain area, folks. Oh. This is going to be interesting. Hmm. Huh. Fruitcake. That's going to be interesting. Can't wait to try that. Alrighty. Biscuits, cream cracker. What else we got here? High energy sports drink powder, lemon lime. Now this one's a little hard in here. It's got me kind of worried about pinholes, but you know what? That's fine. Dissolve contents in one liter water with stirring. Well, guess what? The canteen I have is one liter, so we're going to make it work. <laughs> Alrighty. Of course, your scrub pad. Your spoon. And last but not least... Oh yeah, yeast extract. I'm going to have some fun with this. Alright, so that is everything but the brew kit. So I tell you what, let me clear this off. We'll do the brew kit, and then we're going to take a look at everything. I'll be right back. Alright, so let's take a look at this brew kit. It always comes with the rubber bands, which is a good thing. So, dump it out here. I'm going to set bag and rubber band right there. Now, first thing we got right here another rubber bands sugar-free gum peppermint flavor sugar-free gum peppermint flavor sugar white fine sugar white fine sugar white fine sugar white fine and some fine white sugar limited okay I'm not gonna go there got four sugars got a tea bag another tea bag and all y'all frat boys can quit laughing now got your Fred And I'm on, since I do try to at least maintain my halfway safe for work videos, I do know, let some occasional words slip, but I'm going to be good on this one. This is your friggin' ridiculous eating device. But it does have the bottle opener, it does have the can opener, it does have the little scraper spoon, if you want to call it that. So, it's better than nothing. Alright, two more rubber bands. Granulated coffee. Whoa. Hmm. That is a thing of Tabasco. It is puffed up bigger than anything. So that's probably going to be going just directly into the trash pile. I don't know if we're going to risk that one. I'll probably pop it open just to see. Fine salt. Black pepper. Tomato ketchup. And your second granulated coffee. So. Alrighty, there's our brew kit. So, um, why don't we take a look and see how we're going to divide this up into a few different meals and uh, come back and take a look. Be right back. All right, folks. So, took a moment, sorted everything out, and got it how I wanted it to go. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. Muesli, cereal bar, coffee, sweet and condensed milk. It's going to be breakfast one day. Then, Mix the sports drink up in my canteen. Candy chocolates, a cup of soup, chunky chicken and vegetables. That would be lunch, along with tea and sugar. 
lunch. Good to go. Of course, afterwards, sugar-free gun. Tea time. Oh, hold on. I had an issue here. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Y'all pardon my brain brain farts. Let's just go ahead and get it out. Pardon my brain farts. Tea. Cream cracker biscuits. A little marmalade. And some chocolate spread. That's tea time. <coughs> Of course, energy snacks through the day. Just in case. Then there's dinner. Have me a nice chocolate drink. My other thing of coffee. Some fruit cake. We'll do us a uh, Mexican style shepherd's pie. Beef and black beans with the mashed potatoes. A little ketchup just in case. And of course, dessert to go with the fruitcake or peaches. And of course, scrub everything up. So, all right. That is the unboxing. That is everything in here. So we are good to go. That's gonna be it's gonna be some fine meals, folks, and I can't wait to get in some good places to get them filmed. And again, the person that sent this to me, you are just not you don't know how much I appreciate it. I'm being dead honest. So uh, time to set up the next part. That's me. Y'all have a good one. Wait, you're still here? Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't mention what I was going to do with the cheese, the noodles, or the yeast. I got something special planned for that. They're going to get their own video. And I can't wait for y'all to see it. Especially you, Steve1989. You're going to love it. So for real this time, to land all out, y'all have a good one.